Insects can really wreak havoc on your landscape and gardens during the spring and summer. They can also be a great nuisance to you indoors and outdoors. However, there are many insects that are not bad. They are actually quite beneficial to our way of life. Beneficial insects include predators and parasites of other insect pests. Sometimes it is hard to determine if an insect, in any form, is a beneficial insect or a pest. Like these eggs from a green lacewing. Green lacewings are a beneficial insect because the larvae feed on aphids and other small, soft-bodied insects. The larvae are interesting and look a bit creepy, but they are a good insect to have around to reduce aphid populations on your plants. Ant lions are another beneficial insect to keep around your plants. Ant lion larvae build a pit that they will sit in with their large mandibles open, waiting for an ant or other small insect to fall in and be in eaten. These pits are what you would see, not usually the insect. The pits resemble an inverted ant hill. They will usually be around buildings or other shady areas of the lawn, typically in sandy soil. Ladybugs, or lady beetles, are a very common predator. These insects will feed on many other insects, including aphids, mealybugs, scale, white flies, and sometimes even spider mites and insect eggs. This is a great predator insect because it feeds on other insects as larvae, which resemble tiny alligators, and as adults. These eggs may be seen on the underside of leaves. If so, they should be left to emerge. There is a species of ladybug that was an introduced species, the Asian multicolor lady beetle. This insect is still a predatory insect because it feeds on all of the other insects that ladybugs would feed on. However, they become a nuisance in homes in the spring and in the fall, so some great predators can also be pests to us as humans. There are also many different types of ground beetles that are great predators who feed on many different insects and some earthworms. One main pest that a ground beetle will feed on is the larvae of gypsy moths, which is an invasive pest that does a great deal of damage to trees in the northeast portion of the country. The larvae may be found in the soil when you are planting a garden or out in a field, but they also feed on many insects, so they should be left alone if you can avoid harming them. Tiger beetles are also great predator beetles. They feed on many different insects. These are beautiful insects that are usually brightly colored. Soldier beetles are another beetle species that are great predators. Soldier beetles feed on many soft-bodied insects, including aphids. The larvae tend to feed on many different insects, snails, slugs, millipedes, and earthworms. All of these beetles should be left alive in your landscape so that they can feed on the insect pests found in your landscape and garden. Praying mantises, or mantids, are a wonderful in beneficial insect to have around. These are great insect predators that feed on a wide range of other insects. They are called praying mantids due to their front legs which are grasping and look like they have their hands folded for a prayer. They have these legs so that they can catch other insects and hold on tight. This other insect cannot get free because the mantid also has tooth-like structures on these legs to help them hold their prey. There are two different species of mantids found in Nebraska, Chinese mantids and Carolina mantids. The Chinese mantid is much larger and they have longer wings than the Carolina mantid. Chinese mantids are about three and a half inches long and the Carolina mantid is only about two inches long. Praying mantids have a very unique egg case that most people think is a bad thing when found on the side of their house or on their plants. This egg case looks like it is made out of that spray insulation foam that you can use on cracks around doors and windows in your home. Chinese mantid cases are large and round, whereas Carolina mantids are long and look like a bunch of tiny pieces of rice piled together in a line. If you find either of these cases, or uothecas as they are technically called, leave them there. They are a beneficial insect. There are also many true bugs that are good predatory insects to have around, including assassin bugs, minute pirate bugs, and some stink bugs. These true bugs feed on many different insects, including caterpillars, aphids, thrips, and leafhoppers. They feed on insects by inserting their piercing sucking mouth part into their prey and sucking out their juices. There are also a lot of great parasitic wasps that can really help with caterpillar pests. There are many caterpillars that do a great deal of damage to our vegetable crops as well as many of our landscaping plants. 
What these wasps do is they will lay their eggs in the caterpillar, which will then rip open the caterpillar as they emerge as larvae, or they will feed on the caterpillar, killing it as they get larger. When dealing with beneficial insects, we need to be careful with our pesticide sprays so that we do not harm the beneficial insects while we kill the pest insects or the problem will come right back. Many insects are actually beneficial to our way of life. They can help us to reduce the amount of pest insects that devour our plants in our landscapes and in our gardens. So the next time you go to kill an insect, stop and think about what they feed on first to determine if you really want to kill it. For the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, this is Nicole Stoner.